Greetings and welcome to Tuesday morning on my uh, adventure here. Decided that I'm gonna actually spend a few extra days in California. Um, I am gonna uh, actually be leaving towards Southern California uh, this evening after I get off work and um, I'm gonna spend another couple days down there doing photo shoots and um, going to Disneyland with Legendary and Vanessa. So definitely going to be getting a lot out of my pass. I've only got a little while before I start work. Um, I actually start work in uh, an hour and 45 minutes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and visit uh, one more iconic San Francisco location uh, before I get on my way south. I wish I had a motorcycle up here. If I could have my RC51, oh man, the city wouldn't stand a chance. The only problem is, it's not exactly practical to travel from Phoenix to San Francisco by motorcycle, unfortunately. Um, I actually thought about, and I probably will at some time after it cools down a little bit, um, shipping all of my photo gear and clothing and all the stuff I would need for uh, a week in Southern California and uh, you know, shipping it to a buddy's house in Southern California and then just riding my motorcycle out there uh, from Phoenix because you know, I can handle a six hour ride. Well, actually, it'd probably be significantly less than that with motorcycle speeds um, being what they are. Also, um, California is actually the only state in the union where lane splitting is actually totally legal which is awesome. Um, every time I'm stuck in Los Angeles traffic and I see dudes on bikes whizzing between the lanes, I get infinitely envious. I did get um, a booking inquiry about doing um, a photo shoot for uh, wedding portraits. Uh, I hate actually shooting weddings themselves. Um, it's a painful process and dealing with bridezilla is one of the worst things ever in the world. Uh, but I did get asked if I would do some wedding portraits uh, of the bride and groom before their big day. Uh, so that's totally something I can do. I do engagement photos. I like shooting fashion stuff. Um, you know, all of that stuff is great. And it's great because if you miss a shot, you can always say, hey, can you please turn around and let me do that again? Or hey, can you stand this way one more time? Uh, when you're shooting a wedding, you don't get to say, hey, would you guys walk the aisle one more time? Um, yeah, that doesn't happen. Um, one of the things I really want to do at some point or another, and I'm going to have to do before I, before I croak, is uh, I'm going to have to go and do some f fancy photos on Alcatraz. Uh, I've been known for doing photo shoots in some kind of obscure locations, um, you know, some of my fashion models. Um, we may or may not have uh, climbed into an abandoned prison and shot some photos there. Uh, while I was in Atlanta and ordinarily I would say that uh, You should never admit to a crime on video because that's evidence uh, However, I was uh, cited for doing so right uh, So it's already done and can freely be discussed. I got a $300 citation for unauthorized access to an abandoned structure uh, That's actually a real charge. So yeah, that was interesting um, the shots, however, were incredible, so would I do it again? Turn yeah, right onto Larkin Street. in a heartbeat. Turn left onto the, street. Uh, the photos were so awesome, I, I had to. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't avoid it. Um, I don't recommend anybody else do it. Because <coughs> there were some creaky floors and some potential near injuries. But urban exploration is pretty freaking awesome, just saying. There's a sign right there that says Eerily Square, so it looks like I'm in the right place. Let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. My turn. I was here first. I don't think some drivers on the road in 200 uh, feet, the destination realize is on that the left. it is, in fact, always my turn. Uh, I'm sometimes willing to share my turn, but it is, in fact, always my turn. Here at Ellie Square with the, uh, the famous chocolate factory behind me. Got the uh, Expo 2 in hand, doing a little urban street exploration. Uh, with street photo, kind of uh, catching the uh, catching the stuff in the wild, um, seeing the world. There's uh, in a different 
city to me. San Francisco is an entirely different city than Phoenix. The culture is way different. The people are way different. Um, overall, it's been an awesome experience so far. And if anybody's traveling uh, across the northern part of the country, I sincerely suggest this. So I'm going to go ahead and totally misbehave and have myself a milkshake. Um, lactose intolerance states that I shouldn't. And uh, also, being a little squishy states that I shouldn't. But what the hell, you're on vacation, right? So uh, let's go inside and see what we got. Here are on the inside. Um, you know, the machines to make the chocolates. So, as you can see here, there's the chocolate mills and the melange, which is where it's mixed. And then over here to Hanchi. Mmm, yummy. Okay, here we go. Cookies and cream. Taste test. So, with the cookies and cream malt achieved, it's now time to go uh, do a little more adventuring and photography. I've got another hour and change before work, and it's only a 15 minute drive to get back to Legendaries. I'm going to have to take into account, of course, how much time it's going to take to find parking. So, I guess from here, uh, we go take a peek at what else is in the region and see if I can't find some more adventures to get up to. So, right now, taking a stroll for Fisherman's Wharf. Um, pretty much as I remember it. Um, lots and lots of kitschy, touristy stuff. I'm um, hoping to find the, uh, see if the torture museum is still there, because that was amazing. See, here we have the, uh, the famous Ripley's Believe It or Not, which is not quite the same scary experience you get at Ripley's Believe It or Else. Where you go in and if you don't believe it, they sock you in the face. Alright, so there was no sign of the torture museum. However, there is a new place called the San Francisco Dungeon, which, uh, says it's some sort of drop ride. Um, looked kind of exciting, but it didn't look $27 excited. Especially not when I've got a Disneyland pass and I'm gonna go ride a drop ride in Anaheim this weekend, so. Go more super fun hill climbing. Looking forward to what is undoubtedly going to be a very tired drive to uh, Los Angeles after uh, after working till midnight. But you know, you do what you gotta. Also, did not get to stop through San Francisco Chinatown, which is one of the coolest in the, in the country for certain. Um, also, the home uh, or, or the shooting location for Big Trouble in Little China. Would is possibly one of the finest examples of American cinema that exists today. 